was just over a year ago, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we were looking, basically, we were, looking, we were at a loose end. We wanted to, to, to see what the next chapter in our careers was going to be. And starting a, a business was something that all three of us were uh, interested in and excited by. So it was really about just coming up with ideas. Like, I, I, I believe myself that ideas are, are easy. It's the execution is difficult. So there's, there's different ideas that we talked about at the time. I, I assume some of them, I can't remember all of them, but I assume some of them were blockchain related because we were kind of interested in that at, uh, at the time, John Dowdle and myself. Um, but ultimately, John Ellis had a had a, an idea that kind of emerged from a, a problem that he encountered in his previous business that he had started, where uh, there was a tax, I think it's IR35, does, does that sound right in the UK? Yeah, which right, yeah. Im yeah. impacted negatively on his business model where he had a, a, a a consulting business and, and, and consultants going into various uh, firms and we were looking at a, the potential for a, 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 you know, to, to build a business and even a platform probably was even talked about in the early days that allowed a, to create an umbrella kind of entity that could could, could, could address the, the issue and it morphed a few different ways and one of the things that I suppose along the way we, we kind of happened on was the RFP process that John Dowdle and I in particular uh, come from CSS and MoneyMate where we were responding to RFPs, requests for proposals from large you know, banks and insurers around the globe. So the likes of HSBC and Aberdeen and Columbia Threadneedle and M&G and Schroders and others. And we, we would be doing RFPs to try to win business for our reg tech business, which was what uh, MoneyMate was in, was in the business of. Um, and the process was just unbelievably arduous and difficult and time consuming and expensive and you know, mind blowingly frustrating. And, and that was from a supplier side. So to the point that you, 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 you well, I'd be quite cynical. I was like, I'm the kind of COO cycle of, of the money made business. I thought that was my role as COO. And so I wasn't looking to win the business per se, you know, that, I wasn't in sales. Now, obviously I wanted the, the, the business to succeed. So I wanted to, to succeed, uh, to, to win business. But, Nonetheless, my team were being distracted in their language in helping to respond to an RFP for the sales guy. And it was his or her commission that was involved, not our teams. But um, And it took a huge amount of time and effort. And we were being taken away from our day job, if you like, to, to, to fill out responses to literally 600 questions, I think, in one of the, the RFPs that we filled out. And the next RFP would be the same. Information was required, really. It was about you know all of the things that went on in our business but the questions were asked in a completely different way um and the the about the, the ability to reuse answers that you gave the first time for the second time was limited we tried a little reserve uh, repository to help us do that but it was you know it was quite minimal and then interestingly enough john ellis was on the other side of that equation so he was on the buying side, he had worked with the, the, the financial firms like Aberdeen and Standard Life, I guess before the, 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 the merger, um, HSBC, State Street and others. And he experienced the pain on that side of the fence of the RFP process where you're emailing spreadsheets back and forth and Word documents and attachments and clarifications. And it's just it's just a mess of, of time and effort. And I suppose ultimately that's where we gravitated to, to to see, okay, there's a there's the germ of an idea, or even more than the germ of an idea, in in what we were discussing there, and so yeah, we kind of started to build it from there.